All right, everyone, it is motor placement tutorial time. So we have our body tube, our motor tube, centering rings, the motor retainer, and the motor. So when you are centering your, or putting your motor tube into your body tube, you wanna make sure that you have your centering rings. And you're gonna just epoxy those centering rings onto your motor tube. The motor tube then will be placed inside of your body tube. You'll want to put epoxy on the ring here and here on the outside and then slide it into your body tube. The motor, here's our motor. So this is the business end of the motor. This is where the, the thrust comes out. This is where the ejection charge comes out. So the motor goes into your motor tube like this, okay? And uh, I've only got one hand, so. So it slides in just like that, okay? And we have our motor retainer. The motor retainer then is put on like this. Screw that on. Okay, that way when the ejection charge shoots out the top, your motor doesn't go flying out the back of your uh, rocket. You place your uh, motor tube, it should all be set up that way. And then we'll just slide that in there, maybe. If we can do it one handed, probably can't, let's be honest. So you want to have about about that much of your motor tube sticking out, okay? Just so you can access your motor retainer. And then, uh, yeah. So all these pieces should be epoxy together. Obviously not the, the motor retainer screws, but the, this portion should be epoxy to this. Your centering rings should be epoxied to your body tube. Okay, that's the uh, tutorial for engine placement.